good evening or yeah it's 11 45 p.m um so anytime i seen the girlies do this on social media i was like oh she's so brave she's so strong i could never do it because if i do it i mean like cut my hair because like i'm super attached to my hair my hair is a thing that makes me feel beautiful especially to do it with like body dysmorphia and all those things like i love uh, <laughs> a little 30 inch down my back tickling my ass crack you know what i'm saying so um yeah i was just like if i ever cut off my hair it'll be because i'm done bleaching it and let's be real i'm not gonna be done bleaching it anytime soon so but in any case for the last month i've really been thinking about cutting off my hair especially because i've started um reading this book on trauma living in the body and i also believe that trauma does live in the hair it's been a wild last few years um years that for a long time i tried to forget but you can't forget trauma you just have to move forward you know and grow through it healing is not you know my identity it's just a part of my journey and with us relocating to a new place me being out of that situation not having to live day to day in survival mode i was like just feeling like cutting off my hair was like the next step um and just removing all of those dead pieces of myself so yeah i took out my um crocheted bohemian locks earlier and i'm actually going to go get it fully cut on the 15th but i felt like this moment right here if i'm gonna cry i need to cry <laughs> in my own little corner in my own little chair i can be whatever i wanna you know what i'm saying like i ain't gonna cry in front of no other you know what i'm saying human you know what i'm saying um, gang gang you know what I'm saying? I, ain't finna so I was like i have to do it in my home so that i could feel whatever feels i needed you know what emotions i need to feel and then when i go get it done on what's today when i go get it done on the 15th whatever day that is then you know maybe some of the emotions will have settled so, so yeah it is gonna look crazy because it's um gelled or weird because i had a whole bunch of product in it and i haven't washed it yet i am gonna cut it off though and wash it in the shower but i figured that i should just um cut the blonde off and i let lottie cut the first piece of blonde it's, it's somewhere in here um but yeah so you know see how this goes <gasps> Whoa. I drive. No, because it's very much giving Angelica Pickles. Um, Cynthia! <laughs> oh, I'm gonna cry. Hold on, I'll be back. I said Cynthia, I meant Kodak Black. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> I'm on my. I'm on my way to go get my um. <laughs> my body is cutting my hair cut. <laughs> well, so when I cut my hair the other day, you can see that it's cut. Um, it's actually a cute little you know vibe. Like, if I would have left it like this, I think it would have been fine. You know, but this isn't what I'm wanting right now, and it would call for me to learn how to work with my curls, and I'm just not into that uh <laughs> currently but yeah so you know we're almost there and gonna be a whole new person maybe when i'm done my my being growing on me i did go purple i was like i'm gonna just wait it out i'm gonna i'm gonna just i'm gonna just ch i lied i be lying like my hair, I don't know, it's something about just being like a regular sandy brown blonde. It just don't be cutting it for me. Like, I just be needing it. But it's, I, I'm. Hmm. <laughs> 